Hi, you know I make a lot of brushes all the time. Um, one of my favorite brushes that speed up processes are the brushes for hair. So today I will teach you some really nice things to know about how to make hair brushes. So here I'm working with, with a 6,000 by 6,000 canvas and what I have here is a circle. So I will start from zero so you understand what I'm doing. Basically what I like to do is take a new brush exactly as it is, select white, full white here, just move a little bit this to the left here. So you have really uh, like a light gray. We have a canvas here. I will put the background color back so you can see what I'm doing. Let me put a darker color. You can see the white. And then with the maximum that I have from that brush, you just, oh, sorry, new layer. You just click on a new dot. So with this, you will get a line. When you start moving the dot, you will get just a brush line, like this one, right? So what I want you to do is the following. You will grab that exact same brush and increase the spacing. Now you have the space between every stamp, so it will create a lot of dots. Then we add some jitter, but not much. We don't need that much of jitter. And then we're gonna go here. Wait, I will take the wet mix out, leave the rendering as it is, grain as it is. Shape, you leave it like it is. Tapper, reduce the pressure here. And then we go to the dynamics of the brush. Increase the jitter size and like that and a little bit of opacity in the jitter then with the apple pencil i will reduce the opacity here I, I will do the size a little bit well maybe just a little bit of opacity after you have this you can go again to the color dynamics and just by pressure or by jitter whichever you feel more comfortable with you can change i will go by jitter so i'm sorry the saturation i will take increase a little bit the saturation and with the stamp i will increase a little bit the lightness with this done now we're going to clear this and we're going to create like random dots here so now when you move this to create a line, it will create fantastic hair. And this is what you're gonna do. Take the background out, three fingers down, copy all, take a new brush, put this in the shape, edit, import, paste. Okay, so now you may not see it too much here, you can see dots still because there is some spacing so we reduce the spacing here and now we have hair to make it a bit nicer and we reduce here the opacity with the pressure and increase here in the properties i leave the max the minimum here but maybe the maximum so when you increase well maybe not that much i would like some stabilization as well for my strokes, it will depend on your hand. Let me clear here and check with the colors if you're getting what you want. So when you make many strokes, how do you want your hair to look? When you create new strokes under, uh, of, over the previous stroke, then you go here to rendering and in the blending mode, you can choose either to multiply whatever is the effect you want to create. I like a little bit to lighten the color or to brighten up. This will create 
two different brushes. You can create one with light and color, color and another one with overlay. Also to add some soft light, it will be a lot of fun to create. So I will keep this one to light color and uniform blending or intense blending, whatever you like the most. You can also go for light glaze if you want like different, okay, I cannot, uh, let's increase the previous size here so you can see clear. Um, the tupper, I will not go for pressure, but I will change the size in the tips here and in the touch tupper as well. Okay, you can see when you change here how it changes in the, at the end of my stroke here. Let me clean again. At the end of the stroke you can see how it changes. So I go maybe I'm a bit more exaggerated like that. Okay, you can unlink this like that. Okay, so now you have a hairbrush. Remember to create a name, put your picture here, your name and sign it. And there you go, you now have a hairbrush. In the following, I will teach you some tricks for creating hair. I hope you like this brush tutorial and subscribe to the channel. Like this video so I keep creating more content. Join the MC friends to get new things every month on your email. Bye bye.